Okay, another one that's blue at the back. Ah, okay. So this is what I mean. Blue, this blue, orange. Just a Second pass for the Two blues together.
Bravo!
Well, that gap opened up slightly. Skyland just pulling away, but only marginally. Tactically, how much does an athlete hold back here? Because it's actually the top two that go through. So, you know, what's going through these athletes' minds here is I think they just, it's all to play for. Two, two spots, only two spots go through, and the rest is pretty much over. So you may just go through it. Absolutely. I don't think there is any tactical. I think there might just be a slight bit, and that would only come from the fact that they've got to do this twice. And at this stage, they're not even halfway through. We've got 2.7 kilometers left of the Scorpio run. The gap opening more and more comes around, just dropping off the pace that Scaravaggio is setting, and the gap back to Cape Wall opening up as well. So Scaravaggio is leading the way again. It will be important for them to get off the line, to get onto the curve as well, because as we know, in this game, if you start, that kind of thing doesn't matter to them. A lot of people are saying as well, you know, because athletes, typically, they think it's quite a lot of fun. Broke the swing record, um, broke Jess Belier Mott's record, 212 it used to be, it's now 210. Super fast, and I'm sure in the final this afternoon we're going to see something very, very similar. We'll be keeping our eyes out for any record. Did you have a, a preference when you used to race the show, or you know, you, you know, you're racing now, do you prefer to, to go for an afternoon race rather than a, an early morning? You know, you like your lines and your cups of tea in bed. <laughs> To be honest with you, I'd rather get it out of the way. I, I don't like a, like a 5, 6 o'clock start, but I don't mind a 10 o'clock start. I think this is quite nice. Uh, I'm just sort of waiting around a little bit and you kind of, you know, right, 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 right. So that's why, you know, these athletes will probably benefit a lot from, you know, getting, shaking their legs out to see yep. Maybe the ones that are sitting at home now having a cup of tea. Might be a couple of this afternoon. You know, so, you know, these athletes train a lot. They train three to three to four times a day, you know, they do a lot of training, so they're used to having morning sessions and afternoon sessions, um, and, uh, you know, I'd love to say, if it, if the athletes here that would really be enjoying this now, loving this, because obviously they get the nutrition right between the two races, and all the people this afternoon. Absolutely. So, we've dipped under a kilometre to go on the bike, the gap is going back to the front of the line. There's loads of just Slightly now, so uh, thanks to life, we've got a good push towards the end of this bike. Leg, that gap dropping down every, every few metres. Now 2.7 is increasing, pretty much every time you look up onto, onto the big screen. So 2.7 seconds between Scarabanjo and Fanny's line. Annabelle Noll now up into the third position. Kate Wolf just behind her at fourth. Annabelle not yet at the halfway point when they hop onto the bikes. Obviously, the treadmill's even. They will have a walk me run, and then they will hit the halfway point, and they have to go again for a huge start. So, all the time, they can have a good point to look at that. And then it does better for you, particularly. And then we have a nice deep reserve for you to come to the last one, and then we have a good point to look at that. From the last one, that's the number of to go now, but the Scaramanger will be first off the bike. The Chief closely, the Mari Fan of the Light, and the third Scaramanger. It's a really easy transition. And it's not far behind there, but the gap is there, you can see it. The gap is there, but 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 the Oh, I'm so, 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 I
showing here, and actually that is important because these trainers are self-powering, so it's important that they get a good white mix toy made so they can get to the top of that treadmill and really try to pull that treadmill back as quick as possible, but it's important they keep a nice white bench at the same time. So it's looking good, isn't it, for Scarabanja and uh, Fanny Salai, but Annabelle Noel not too far behind as well. Don't discount her. Barbara Decaney in there as well, and Hannah Devet, I must say she's been having a really good arena game in London. She is doing really well sitting in the position. Kate Watt has just dropped a little bit further back now. Position, but look at the contrasting styles as you can see. We did see yesterday that Fanny Shalaya was rocking a bit back and forth, back and forth. She, she really dug deep to try to get into that final to get the early automatic selection and uh, she ended up just fading away a little bit towards the end. She's got a good run on her though, she has closed the gap already since getting onto the treadmill on the big screen with Scaramanga our leader in this first of our women's back charges. And if you look in the top left hand corner of the big screen, you can see the live heart rate there for Scaramanga. And that is high, isn't it, Michelle? She is crucial. She's not leaving anything out there on the treadmill as things stand. Looks good. I saw the just shaking the arms out there. You know, she So she is right up there. She's only 15 years of age, so the heart rate would be naturally a little bit higher than uh, an older athlete. However, she is doing so, so well. Only 1.8 seconds now behind Scarra Banja and holding really strong there from Annabelle Noll, who's now dropped back to 20 seconds behind Scarra Banja. So it looks really good at this point for the youngster. Just under 300 metres to go for these athletes over their first one kilometre run and then they will hit the halfway point. That can losing and closing. Just over a second now, back to had a brilliant run. And it's so important to get that margin down to as, as small as it can be before they get into the ball. Fanny Delight had a brilliant first swim and she's really put herself in a great position to go back into the ball. Just over 100 metres to go, and she is closing. You can see on the big screen the avatars. And the line runs chasing down Scarabanja in the blue. Is there enough distance for her to get past her? And the line actually fighting towards the line. Close is the now. Very, very close indeed. She's got her eyes on her back, and that's it. You know, and then she'll be able to see her avatar, and she didn't quite get there, but it looks as though. The two of them have finished very, very close. 0.8 of a second between them. The margin is so, so narrow. Still looking over. Now she's been told by her father and coach just to calm down in terms of she doesn't need to go full gas. Now it's all about saving, saving energy. So she's got burning as least amount of matches as possible so she's ready for the final. But I love the communication between her and her coach and her father. She really, really is in the zone. I think today we saw it a, a, a different Fanny, more confident, more calm. I saw the fist pump, just needs to come first or second, 20 second gap. You guys must be happy with her performance? Yeah, we think it's, uh, it will be enough, yeah, so we told her that that was great. I'm just so impressed how mature she is how she's racing, she has the setbacks, yet she comes here, she's in the zone, but she's enjoying herself. Today she's enjoying, but yesterday was very nervous, that was the problem, but today it's okay. You can see today, taller, yeah. running smooth. Yeah. Much, really much, confident. Yeah. much confident. And that's so important, the yeah. team yeah. that you have. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.
work, but these athletes, you know, they'll be running around three, anything from three minutes to three fifteen kilometer pace on average, and uh, very, very fast going. So you can imagine what's going through their minds, just knowing that they've got a little bit left on the bike, one point seven kilometers to go, and then just one kilometer ahead of them before someone like Scalabank and uh, Adesola have got to make the final. Barbara Payne is still pushing hard. Kate Walsh will be up with 37 seconds. Adam Bell-Nall still with the equally um, with Kate Walsh as well with 30 seconds um, each. And uh, Adam Bell still holding still there. Uh, and to be honest, it's really amazing. It's very quiet. It's not easy to start. I found myself when I was very, very young. <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, it was tough. It was tough. I don't forget the feeling when you go through your body. It's like running, I don't know, like, I can't say that you that heart rate up. The lactic acid is always there. It never leaves you until the finish line. So these ladies are doing a fantastic job. They are doing brilliantly. Just over a kilometre to go on the bike for Scarabank. Just over a kilometre to go on the bike for Scarabank. Release. Thanks to the line by 40 seconds. Good job to ease up some of that, that deficit. Yeah, I opened up during the swim. She is 27 seconds off the pace of Scarabanjo. Girls up and off the pace of Panzerlai at the minute. She's done a good run. So 800 metres to go before Arlena. Rina Scarabanjo will be off the bike and onto the treadmill. Important to get a good transition in. She's going to lose every time and have a saddle pushing hard. So let's go to the athletes' words right now between Scarabanjo and Cancelo and Pearson. They've been able to put it between the low and 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 the low These women are a fantastic athletes. The Barbara the Pony, she's been around a while. She knows her stuff. She's been, she's done this format before, so she knows what is ahead of her here. One kilometre running. And I'll tell you what, Fanny Salai will be running with all her bikes right now because she wants to make the final and it's only 10 seconds to separate herself and Barbara the Pony. So really, Scarabanda looks like she's comfortable. She's going to do it.
fans are like trailing by 12 seconds and the gap closing. And I don't think fans are like leaving anything to chance and that's why she's putting that extra effort in right now because she doesn't want Bubba to run her down. She doesn't want to make that mistake that she you know, made yesterday. And she looks a little bit fresher today. She looks like her form is a bit better. She's not rocking the shoulders from side to side. Her elbows have been pushed back. Her cadence looks good. Good clean drive forward. Stride length. Yes, she's not happy. She's made a stride a little bit. You know, today she looks like she's kind of holding it together a little bit better. And I think that just shows that, you know, she is a little bit more in control, but at the same time, you can tell she's about to feel quite solid just to make sure that she does qualify for the final. And she's extended her lead now to Barbara to Cody by another uh, 10 seconds. So she's looking comfortable with only a few hundred metres to go. I think she's got it. Yeah, so it's the gap between Barbara to Cody and Frank's are like 20 seconds. And then Frank's are like 10 seconds off the pace of Scaramanga, who is out of front just over. Uh, 250 meters to go for these athletes. Scarabanja leading the way. She will be the athlete who will make it through to the final. Automatically behind her, the So the final is alive with the athlete joining her as that gap opens up once again. Back to Barbara de Kone. 21 seconds now. Lead opening up even even more. Fans are actually closing the gap. Scarabanja up ahead. You, you know, this this later on in the race with 150 meters to go, Scarabanja will know that she's practically home and hose. You've got to ease off slightly and, and save something in the tank for the final later on. Yeah, with 100 metres to go, it looks like a done deal now for Scarabanda and Manchester. Okay, what? Okay, very, very strong now, coming into third position, but still 30 seconds back, so it's the real estate has run out for Kate okay, Walker, unfortunately. Uh, but she'll at least get a good workout from this, which is fantastic. But the two in front, Rani Scarabanda and Fanny Samaya, will make it through to the final. And uh, five seconds separates the two. Scarabanda just holding on tight. Punch in the air for Fanny's eyes. See how much that meant for the young Hungarian athlete who gets off the dribble, shakes the hands of her competitor. She has secured her place in the final, well deserved after that sterling effort yesterday. Double thumbs up. She has just performed incredibly well to deal with the pressure of the Belgian child. It's not easy at any age, particularly as the youngest one. She has that confidence, an incredible young race. So I want to keep your eye out. Putting back some, some time on that run, unfortunately not enough for the Brit to make her way into the final. What a fantastic first record challenge, that was so exciting and I'm just really delighted for Fanny Salai to see her go through to the final this afternoon because she, you could see in her eyes she wanted that, you know, I could see when she was warming up this morning, she was down this morning, she was warming up this morning, she was over. As we know, the final is the final, and everyone moves to a new level. So I'm super excited about the final stuff, and it's going to be really, really, really hard. I was at the final, so it's between the chances to go. We're already looking ahead. Of course, we've got the power triangle as well. Good race, so good, really impressive. Go and see you. Go, go, go. Are you happy with that? You look so good today. You look like you are tall, running really well. You must be over the moon. Are you ready for the final? Fight for a world title? To fight for a world title? Yes, right. Because you can imagine what they're going through. Poor big sweater, they're losing sweat. Yeah, so it is intense. It is warm in there. It's the For the next day, to be their bikes, and we are 25 minutes away from our second of our World Challenge here at the Runa Gauge Marathon in London.